Hi guys, I greet you all from wherever you are watching me, depending on your time zone. Now, today, the ODM leader Raila Molo Dinga, NC leader Mselem Davadi, court secretary general of France Atoli and devolution CS Eugene Wamalwa, were among the individuals who attended a Sunday service in Butere for the consecration of the right Reverend Ross Okeno as the bishop of the diocese of Butere. <laughs> now, it was also rumored that the Deputy President William Samoy Ruto is going to attend that service. But again, later he did not attend. Maybe he changed his mind and he went for a service just within Nairobi County. So, one good thing that happened in that service is that the Archbishop Olesa Pitt did not give a chance to any politicians to even greet the masses. He only read their names and again asked them to address the public if they want at least out of that service so that is one of the good things that i feel happened in that service but anyway that is not our topic today it was just by the way now yesterday i had promised you that i'm going to do a separate video on the comments that the odm leader raila monodinga made while he was addressing the rally in kakamega county on how the takeover of mumia's sugar company was stopped while at the same time defending the ODM governor, Wycliffe Oparanya. So what happened is that there was a process to transfer the Mumia Sugar Company to a private sector for a specific period of time so that it can pay its debts and again at the same time uh, the, Mumias, uh, the, the sugar farmers can also have somewhere to sell their product. And while the process was going on, the Kakamega Senator Kilofas Malala was also reading mischief in the process. And because of that reason, he decided to take this matter to the Senate committee, which later summoned Governor Oparanya to answer to the, to the specific question on the transfer process. Now, before I forget, I have a quick request, guys. You might be watching me and you have not yet subscribed. My humble request, please consider subscribe so that any other time once we come out with a video like this one, you will always get notified. Again, to all the channel subscribers, Thank you so much for always coming again. And to all those people who drop comments, thank you so much. Let's keep on dropping those comments. Now let us continue with our discussion. Malala was also supported by the ANC leader, Mselem Davadi, who also questioned on the transparency of transfer of this company. And the drama started when the Delvi company owner, Yule Muhindi, went on the press to claim that he was ready to inject about five million, five billion into that property, it is stated so that the operation can start going on. But he said that because politics has gone into that issue, he has decided to withdraw himself from that bidding. So, the drama went on because later, Governor Peranya was summoned to appear in the Senate co uh, Parliamentary Committee where he honored the summon, he went there, and again also later, this delivery guy also was called into that Senate. So, these guys were questioned on the transparency of the transfer of those functions. The biggest problem is that this building did not have transparency. There was no public participation. Those farmers were not involved in this transfer. No one was asked a question to do with this transfer. So, and let me tell you, even if Malala could have not taken this issue to the Senate, I still believe that there is also a Manainch who could have just come and take this matter to the court because of public participation. In Kenya, the issue to do with the public participation is a big issue. And if you ignore the public, I don't think if you can succeed in one way, it is always going to be stopped by the court. Order Center Malala. Order Center Malala. No, this is the governor. Now, chairman, it is so good that you are here looking yes. at this. Why did you award? Why couldn't you give me? Why did you award the public? I'm not the one who awards. Chair, what's this in order? I will rule you out. Or even six will be a governor. You do procure me. I don't do and I've asked the governor if he knows the owner of Mavuno brand fertilizer. The reason is, and I want to table here some documents, the owner of Mavuno brand fertilizer 
is one man called Devki. He's the owner, and there are facts here, I have all the documents. He is the proprietor of Mavulo brand fertilizer. Is he to table that? I want to table. I want to table. I'm tabling documents. Secretary? Yes. And the owner of this company, who has been given direct award by Katamiga County government to supply fertilizer for this year. Yes, that document first. Yes. To supply fertilizer for this year. He is the same person who was purportedly brought to take over Mumia Sugar directly with the same system. So I want to know if there is any relationship between Devki and Governor Parana because he is used to giving him direct awards. Is there any relationship between Governor Parana and Devki? There is no relationship. Yet. Governor? Governor? There is no relationship. Okay. But why is it a coincidence that in 2018 Governor Parana you directly awarded Devki Company direct procurement on fertilizer. Three years down the line, you are also participating in awarding him directly to take over the US Sugar Company. Oh, no. Is it? Is it? Okay. Is it? Now, uh, that's a different question. Yes, I have, you, I have yeah. not. I have no role in Mumia Sugar. No, but I you, think you are away of, out of the question. And no, the German, no. if, I, want, I just want to know the relationship between Governor Paranya and Devki because it can it cannot be a coincidence. You should answer that, Governor Paranya. Yeah. So the Senate committee, in their own wisdom, found that this bidding was done in secret. They did not announce publicly so that other peoples can also apply. But again, it was discovered that it was not only Delvik which applied. There were other three companies which also applied, and again, even, they were better off than Delvik, who went publicly to claim that politics is playing into this issue. So because of all this mischief, the Senate ordered for fresh bidding to start, and that is what has brought all this discussion out. So the whole process had to be stopped and again announced fresh. So, politics will always play into such matter. So, Raila Monodinga decided to appeal to the emotion of the masses there by claiming that Governor Senator Malala is the enemy of the farmers in Kakamega and the painting Governor Parana as the savior. But, that's not, but that, that's not the truth if you follow the process. The fact is that Raila was simply playing politics in defense of Governor Oparanya. Because what he did not tell the public is that even the ODM senators were involved in stopping this matter because they simply discovered that the process was not free and fair. So the truth of the matter is that ODM party has interest in Kakamega gubernatorial. And I told you yesterday they have discovered, they have identified their opponent to be Senator Cleophas Malala whom ANC party might be fronting as the candidate to take over. Since Governor Paranya is serving his second term and for that reason he has to exit the scene. And the biggest problem is that ODM might not have a strong person who can then, who, whom they are fronting as a candidate. Because if you check the how Professor Kutima, who is serving as the current deputy, if you check on his strength, I don't see it. That's why you see the name Barada is coming into play, the business guy. So that is politics playing here. And this situation can be compared to what happened to Raila Molo Dingo to do with the Mao forest. Remember how Ruto played the Mao politics, which later landed Raila Molo Dinga into problems in 2013 general election. So that's what these guys are trying to play here. Whether Malala will be smart and the ANC party to deal with this issue, time will tell. And if ODM will succeed in the way they're playing their politics again, time is going to, to tell. So that's the end of our video. I simply want you to go in the comment section and drop your comment. I'm going to read all those comments and I will definitely respond to each and every comment as our tradition on this platform. So let us keep on subscribing. Let us keep on sharing out. There are some guys who are sharing out this video and I'm so grateful to them. Let us keep on sharing out and let us keep on asking our friends to subscribe. I see the numbers are good and actually this platform is growing and it's because of you. 
and your friends. So let us keep on sharing the love on this platform. See you in our next video.